Good morning to you and thanks for joining us. Current time, 623. One year ago today, two men killed Broadwater County Deputy Sheriff Mason Moore near Three Forks. Now, while, while Broadwater County had to deal with the loss of one of their own in the crime scene, Gallatin and Lewis and Clark County sent help to their nearby neighbor. Now, we recently sat down with the sheriff of all three counties to talk about that morning one year ago and how that event has forever changed what each does today. A uh, phone call my dispatch was that they couldn't get Mason on the radio. Uh, they had just called me two minutes prior and said, hey, Mason's in pursuit, and, and which wasn't uncommon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, just, I said, let me know when he's, when he's in, when the guy's in custody. Broadwater County Sheriff Deputy Mason Moore was out on patrol like he had been many times in his role with the Broadwater County Sheriff's Office. He was well trained. But that morning one year ago, nothing, no training could have prepared anyone for what would happen next. We got on scene and and uh, pulled in behind the high patrolman and, and uh, walk, got out of my car and then the lights were on Mason's car and and uh, I walked over there trying to figure out what was going on because no emergency lights, no siren, no nothing and and uh, the door was open which I thought was odd so I thought maybe got out and was running on foot and and uh, looked in the driver's seat and there was Mason and, and uh, in, in, a, in a not a state that I felt that anybody need to see him in and and uh, the high patrolman showed up and I said give me a blanket and covered him up and moved everybody back and I remember it was my captain that gave me a call and just that horrible feeling in your stomach and just I felt it as we were driving up this morning is just that horrible feeling and uh, so I immediately call Wynn uh, obviously we're friends and uh, just told him anything that he needs and uh, I can only imagine what's going through his brain. So we just we just sent everybody out and sort of helped with the scene, uh, helped with the press, helped with all of those things because he needed to take care of his people, which he did. We didn't know Mason that well, but we really know Wynn that well. And that was the hard part is to look at the law enforcement family and to see them suffer and to know what that loss meant. That's why that uh, Brian and I jumped in our vehicles when you have something just like a family member that dies, mm -hmm. other people come to stand there just just to, the uh, the witness of presence. Is it different today? I mean, do you do things differently? I, oh, you yes. still have the task, yes. but do you do things differently? Extremely different. Um, you know, I every night I go to bed uh, worried about the phone ringing, and when the phone rings, you're going, "Oh, please, Lord, just tell me it's not something bad again." And we're hunting mm -hmm. cops to kill. Mm -hmm. That was their mission. Had they turned left, it would have been one of ours. So at the moment, uh, a split second decision uh, was Broadwater County instead of us. Our guys think about that all the time and we remind them that every traffic stop could be something that turned into something fatal. Don't get complacent. 99.9% .9 of the citizens of this state are fantastic, good law abiding people. And we don't want to treat every one of them as that 1%. You know what I mean? So we're still human beings, still the golden rule. We still treat people the way that they need to be treated, um, but have that in the back of your mind that, you know, be ready. We're, we have, we're fathers and daughters and husbands and wives and brothers and sisters to somebody and they all love us. And, and at the end of the day, they want us to come home. And, you know, in reality, these people want to get home to their families and, and we're on the same boat. We're just kind of in a short term situation that shouldn't have life changing effects to it. The tragedy of one year ago is something all three men say will be something that they'll never forget for the rest of their law enforcement careers. Near Three Forks, Chet Lehman, MTN News. Now, Deputy Moore was honored yesterday for giving the ultimate sacrifice in Washington, D.C., part of this year's National Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. Such a tough story, and his birthday was last week. Absolutely. Just, true. It's just so heart-wrenching. Again, on this anniversary, our thoughts go out to Jody and his uh, family as well. Absolutely. It is time for a quick break. We're back in two short minutes. Stay with us.